Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing our paper, Believing is Seeing, Unobserved Object Detection Using Generative Models. I am Shubrangshu, your presenter for today. Let's start with some background. First, imaging from 3D to 2D is a projection that loses information like out of frame or occluded regions. Second, object detection is a capability of modern computer vision systems which can detect objects fully or partially in frame. However, it fails to reason about objects that may be present in the scene, but not in the frame. And this brings us to our motivation. What lies beyond the observable? What can we infer about the regions concealed in a single observation beyond the field of view or those that are occluded given the single observation? Consider the case of locating chairs indoors. An object detector finds visible ones, but misses those occluded or out of frame. And that is our focus. Inferring either an expanded view or the nearby 3D scene in the vicinity of the camera. It's a hard inverse problem because different layouts in 3D can look identical in 2D. Humans easily handle this problem and yet it's underexplored in machine vision. And thus, we introduce our novel task of unobserved object detection. The objective is to model the unseen regions of space in the vicinity of the camera. This leads to individual samples of plausible configurations, which when aggregated, jointly represent the spatial and semantic uncertainty, namely the spatio-semantic distribution of the object label given the context. In our work, we consider 2D and 3D probabilistic distributions of object labels which are either out of the frame or are occluded in the given view. Current generative models can recreate plausible configurations of unobserved elements in 2D or 3D in a scene using the input as context. Thus, using generative models, we define our three pipelines for this task. First, we use vision language models to query using the input image, the spatial contexts in 2D for plausible region-wise positions. We evaluate several VLMs where model confidence is computed from the normalized count of affirmative responses across the three regions. This is followed by aggregation and normalization into a 2D heat map. In our next pipeline, we integrate the stable diffusion XL model with semantic prompts to perform visual outpainting. Next, we use an object detector model, YOLO V8X, to extract bounding box predictions, which we aggregate into a normalized heat map. Our third and final pipeline, diffusion with forward models, which samples novel scenes from a neural field which renders novel views of the scene along with their depths. Similar to the approach in the 2D diffusion model, we perform object detection, this time for a TV. The bounding boxes are thus back projected using the depths and aggregated, voxelized and normalized into a 3D distribution. We test our three pipelines in scenarios where the object in the ground truth are out of view from the input image, but present in the expanded frame to quantify the accuracy and diversity of the representation. Ground truth position bounding box centroids are marked by a white star. We observe that in instances where the object is not projected onto the 2D plane, specifically when it's behind the camera or occluded behind objects, DFM is still capable of making accurate inferences. Other pipelines also make reasonable predictions in 2D. Across the three pipelines tested in terms of accuracy and diversity in 2D, 2.5D and 3D settings on the real estate 10K and the NYU depth V2 datasets, we observed the following. In 3D settings, DFM leads across all metrics achieving a 0% false negative rate. SDXL outpainting with semantic prompts outperforms other pipelines in 2D and 2.5D settings. Certain VLMs exhibit competitive region-wise predictions in 2D with 2% false negative rates. For more details, kindly refer to our paper. Thank you for your time and attention.